Hello, everybody. Today, I will be teaching you how to find the volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. Oh, my. So exciting, right? But you always wanted to know how to do this. Or maybe you already learned how to do it and it's been a while and you just need to refresh your memory. So cylinders normally are like cans, like a can of beans or <clears throat> um, a soda can. It has two circles on the top and then a rectangle going around. Um, and that's a cylinder. You probably already knew that. Cones, just think of an ice cream cone or a hat, a circle on the bottom or the top, and then goes to a point like a triangle. And then spheres, soccer ball, baseball, basketball, those are spheres. So it's just a 3D circle basically. And so what is volume? Volume is the amount of space or the capacity inside a three-dimensional shape. So it measures um, it measures the amount of space inside an object. So you probably have already done um, cubes or rectangular prisms, finding the volume. You just multiply the length times the width times the height, and that will tell you how much space is inside. And <clears throat> it's a little bit easier because you don't have to use pi, which we're going to get into pretty soon. Um, Volume is measured in cubic units. And so if you have a cylinder and it's, it could be, you could say that it's four cubic feet, the volume is four cubic feet or that it's four feet cubed. The little three is, um, means cubed. It means it's 3D, has three dimensions, just like uh, two is squared. Um, that means it's a flat shape. That's when you find the area, and then finding the volume is 3D. So let's review diameter and radius. So the radius is the distance from the center of a circle to the outside of a circle or a sphere. And then the diameter goes all the way across through the center. So let's look at, see how that looks. So the diameter is going through the center from one side to the other and the radius um, goes from the center to the edge. And does anybody know how they are related? If you said that the diameter is two of the radiuses, you are correct, because think about it. That goes from the edge to the center, edge to the center, so it's just two radiuses. So in, if, they te if you're doing a problem and it says that the diameter is 10 inches, for the formulas we're going to be using, you're going to need to find the radius. So you would just divide it by two to get five. Or if they tell you that the radius is seven, then the diameter is going to be times two, which is 14. So I just wanted to review that because some problems are going to try to trick you and you just got to make sure that you use the radius in, in these formulas, not the diameter. And then, um, does anybody know what pi is? You should have used it finding the area and the circumference of a circle. Um, <laughs> not that kind of pi, this kind of pi. Or 3.145926535897932, blah, blah, blah. Uh, normally for um, doing a math problem, you're gonna round it to 3.14. Then that's what we're gonna do today. So, but now some questions are gonna ask you to leave the volume in terms of pi. That means you're gonna not multiply by 3.14. Pi is just gonna be in your answer, like for example, four pi. And then some questions are gonna want you to solve it, round it to the nearest hundredth or whatever. So a lot of times they'll say, um, use 3.14 for pi. And in that situation, you would take four times 3.14 to get your answer. If that sounds confusing now, don't worry. We're going to go over it in detail. So here's the formulas. V stands for volume. R stands for radius. 
which remember is half of the diameter and h is height. So we're going to do the formulas for a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. So for a cylinder, the, vol the volume equals pi r squared h. So pi times r times r times h. A cone is the same thing, but you're going to divide it by three. Just think of a triangle as one third of a, I don't know, just forget I said that, but it's, a cone is one third of a cylinder. It has one third of the space of a cylinder. And a triangle having um, three sides helps me remember I divide it by three. A sphere is kind of interesting. It's four times pi times r cubed divided by three. So four times 3.14 times r times r times r. There is no height in a sphere, so I guess the radius is like the third height, if that makes sense. So let us do a problem. All right, so we're going to answer in terms of pi first, and then we're going to answer it as a decimal so that you know how to do it both ways. So here's a cylinder. There's the height. There's the radius. Height is 7. Radius is 2. So let us plug this into the formula. We got volume equals pi times r squared. r is 2. So 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. So pi times 4 times height, which is 7. So basically, it's going to equal, what's 4 times 7? 28 pi. If they tell us to leave our answer in terms of pi, we are done. But if they want you to use 3.14 for pi, you would multiply 28 times 3.14. I'm going to use my calculator. What is 28 times 3.14? 87 point 92. It says round it to the nearest tenth, so I'm going to round it to 87 point 9. And I used 3.14 for pi. Um, because that's what they're asking me to do. If they ask me to, to use 3.1415 or, you know, a different um, decimal place, then my answer might be off a little. So 87.9 is to the nearest tenth. All right, so we're going to go on to the next one. Next one I want you to try to do by yourself. And um, maybe you can pause the video and try to do it by yourself. So let's find what the height and the radius are. The height is eight and the diameter is 10. All right, so pause this video, try to plug everything in and figure it out, and then unpause it to see if you got it right. All right, press pause. All right, welcome back. Okay, so the first thing you should have noticed is that they give you the diameter, which is 10, and we need to find the radius. So hopefully you divide it by 2 to get r equals 5. Then you would do volume equals pi times 5 squared, which is 25, times 8. 25 times 8 is 200. You can use a calculator. Most likely your teachers are going to let you use calculators at this level. Otherwise, you, you can count by 25s or you can do it by hand. All right, so if we're going to leave it in terms of pi, that's our answer. But we're going to round to the nearest tenth after multiplying 200 times what? 3.14, because that's what they're telling us to do right here. So. What is 200 times 3.14? I'm getting an even number, 628. So we don't have to round to the nearest tenth because there's no decimals. It's just 628. 
All right, on the next one, it's gonna be a little different. We're not going to be looking for volume. We are going to be looking for the height. So let's see what they give us. The height is unknown. The radius is two and the volume is 88. So you're just going to plug everything into this formula. V, which is 88. So I'm going to plug the 88 in for the V. Equals pi times r squared. r is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And then times height. Now in algebra, the goal is always to get the letter by itself, the one that you're trying to figure out. So if we're multiplying pi times four times h, how do we get rid of pi and four? What do we have to do? Well, I think you probably already know this, but if not, I'll remind you, you're gonna divide because Dividing is the opposite of multiplying. So I'm going to divide by pi and I'm going to divide by 4. So I'll just divide by 4 pi. All right, so that cancels out. That cancels out. On this side, I just have h. So if I do 88 divided by 4, I'm going to have 22 over pi. But we're going to, it doesn't say it here in the problem, but um, it should say that we can use 3.14 for pi. So it's going to be 22 divided by 3.14, which is, what is 22 divided by 3.14? It's 7.0063. So we're just going to say 7 equals h. All right, so we found the height by plugging in all the other information that we know. All right, let's move on to cones. So it's just like what we've been doing, except we're we're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna divide the answer by three. So same formula except for dividing by three. So let's see what they give us. The height is five. The radius is actually its diameter. So if the diameter is two, what's the radius? The radius equals two divided by two, which is one. So this is a skinny little cone and kind of tall. <laughs> anyway, so the volume is going to equal pi times r squared um, the R is one, one times one is one. So times one times height, which is five divided by three equals basically five pi over three. That's if you leave it in terms of pi. Now, if we want to find the decimal, we're going to do five times what? 3.14 and then divided by 3. So let's see what that's going to equal. What is 5 times 3.14 divided by 3? And if I round to the nearest tenth, I'm going to get 5.2 because I get 5.233333. So it's going to round to 5.2 if I do it to the nearest tenth. All right. So let's clear this out and go to the next one. Now I want you to try to do this one on your own. Go ahead and, um, well, actually, let me get the information for you. We're going to find the volume and round to the nearest tenth, and we're going to use 3.14 pi with a height of 10 and a radius of 5. All right, so go ahead and pause the video. Try to work it out. And then when, after you finish, come on back. Welcome back. Okay, so we got V equals 
pi times r squared. So 5 times 5 is 25 times 10 all over 3. So it's going to be 25 times 10 is 250. And then 250 divided by 3. Well, we don't have to actually do that. We'll just say uh, 250 pi. Sorry for my writing. This is kind of not very easy to use. 250 pi divided by 3. That's in terms of pi. And then let's actually figure out what it's going to be to the nearest tenth. So 200. I'm going to do what's 250 times 3.14 divided by 3. And it's going to be 261.66666, whatever. So it's going to be 261.7. All right, is that what you got? I bet you did because you are smart. And this is not too hard. It's kind of boring, but it's, it's really not too hard. Um, okay. Especially once you know how to do it. Once you practice it a little bit, it's going to be easy. It's going to actually be kind of fun, like you are speaking another language called math. Okay, so now this one is kind of like the last one that we did for the cylinder. They're going to give us the volume, which is 452.4. And they're going to give us the height, and we're going to have to find the radius. So... Oh, by the way, I forgot, I think I forgot to mention, all of our answer answers should be like whatever unit is here to the third power or cubed um, when we find the volume. But when we're finding the radius, it's going to be just inches because it's, it's not volume, it's a length. So it's not inches cubed, not inches squared, just plain old inches. I think I forgot to say that on the last one. So let's plug in what we know. We know that the volume is 452, 452.4, that's our volume, equals pi times r, which we do not know what that is, squared h divided by 3. Okay, so just like the last one we did for the um, cylinder, we had to get, well, in the cylinder we were fi finding H, now we're finding R. So what we want to first do is get it to, get this alone, R squared. So we're going to multiply both sides times 3. So that's canceled out. Okay. And then we're going to divide both sides by pi and h. Oops, I forgot to say that um, h is 12. This should be 12. So we're going to divide by 12, 12 and pi. So we're going to divide by 12 pi. So the height cancels out, the pi cancels out. So on this side, all you're left with is R squared. And sorry, that's so messy. All right, so I'm going to just simplify it a little bit. 3 can go into 3 one time. 3 can go into 12 four times. So we got 4 pi down here. So basically, all we are doing is 452.4 divided by 4 divided by 3.14. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. What is 452.4 divided by 4 divided by 3.14? All right, and if I round this, okay, I'm getting 36.0191. So basically it's going to 36.0 to the nearest um, tenth, or the nearest whole number actually we're doing. But we're not done yet. We are not done yet. So look at this. It's R squared. We want to find R. So we got to do, do you know what we have to do? If you said, 
take the square root of both sides. You are correct. So to undo a square, you're finding the square root. And then we're going to have r. So the square root undoes the square, so we're just left with r. And then if you know your multiplication facts, you should know what times what is 36 it actually rhymes. So the answer is 6. If you wanted to check your work, you could put 6 and 12 back into this, equ back into this equation right here. And your answer should be this. That's how you can check your work because there was... A lot, of, a, a big mess over here, and I'm sorry for how messy that looks, but I'm trying really hard to write neat. All right, let's go to spheres. They might be the easiest ones yet. And now that you know what you're doing, I think you know what you're doing. I don't know if you feel like you know what you're doing, but with more practice, you will. Um, but this one's pretty much the same. So let's do our first one. We're going to round to the nearest tenth, and we're going to use 3.14 for pi. Wait a minute. What just happened? I need to go back. OK, that's right. I was waiting for the height to come, but we're doing a sphere, so it's just the radius. All right, so volume equals. 4 pi radius cubed. So if the radius is 2, it's going to be 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. All over 3, which is 32 pi over 3. Now let's find it when we use 3.14 for pi. What is 32 point, ah, one second. What is 32 times 3.14 divided by three? 33.4933. So I'm running to the nearest tenth. So 0.49 is gonna become 0.5. And it's going to be feet cubed. I forgot to label the other ones, but volume is always going to be whatever this is cubed. All right. Uh, next one you're going to try to do on your own. So uh, let's move on to the next one. All right. This one they give you a diameter. Hint, hint, hint. All right, and the diameter is six. So go ahead, pause the video, and come back to check your work. Welcome back. Okay, so first thing you should notice is this is a D. We're looking for an R, so we need to divide that in by two to find the radius, and the radius is going to equal three. So volume equals four pi r cubed. I forgot to put the r in there. Try to make this a little neater than last time. Actually, I'm going to do 3 cubed. So 3 times 3 is 9 times another 3 is 27. Divide it by 3. Oh, I can simplify this one because 27 divided by 3 is 9 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So basically, it's going to be 4 times 9 is 36 pi over nothing. And if I want to find the actual rounded number to the nearest tenth, I'm going to do 36 times what? 3.14. What is 36 times 3.14? All right, I'm getting 113.04, so we'll just stick with 113. And we got inches here, so it's going to be inches cubed. All right. All right, the last one coming up. This one's kind of tricky, but I know you can do it. 
You want to try it by yourself? If so, you can. Let's get the information here. Okay, so this one, they give us the volume and we need to find the radius. So if you want to try it by yourself, be brave, pause the video, plug stuff in, figure it out, use your calculator and come back on. All right, if you were brave, welcome back. So here we go. Volume, they give us volume as 4.2 inches cubed equals four pi r. We don't know what r is, so it's gonna be r three cubed divided by three. All right, so now we need to get r cubed all by itself. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by three. Because if we multiply this by three, we're gonna cancel that out. We're gonna divide both sides by four pi. Divide by four pi. That cancels those out. So all we have left over here is r cubed. All right. So now we need to do three times 4.2 divided by four divided by 3.14 to get our answer. So basically, I don't know if you guys learned this when you were doing fractions, but fractions is just another way for saying division. So we multiply up here, divide, divide. So let's see what it is. What is three times 4.2 divided by four divided by 3.14? It's a 1.0031, so we're going to just round it to one. But is that our answer? Maybe. Maybe. This is kind of interesting. It actually, we're looking for R, and this is R cubed. How do you undo a cube? You take the cube group. That's a little three. Oh, that looks so messy. Hold on one second. Okay. It's a little three cubed root and little three cubed root. So the cubed root of R cubed is just R. So the cubed root of one is what times what times what is one? One. So technically one was our answer, but let's say that had been, let's say at this point it was 27. The cubed root of 27 would be three times three times three. So the answer would have been three. But this one, the cubed root and the number that we had is the same thing. So the radius is one. Now, if you wanna check your work, you plug a one in here, one, Cubed is one times four is four. Four pi divided by three should equal that. If it does, we did it right. And I'm here to tell you, we did it right. So one inch is the answer for the radius. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it wasn't very much fun. Maybe it's something you have to learn, but math can be fun. It's always hard and not fun when you don't know how to do it, but if you just try your best and keep practicing, it's actually fun knowing that you can do it. So I'm proud of you for sticking with me this long. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye.